Okay, we're going to see about pressing this on here right now. I'm going to pull you a stick underneath here as a space to beat against. I want to see how much clearance I go. I can't wait really till. It's not hitting on that. Sitting on the back side over here, but not anywhere else. Not flat. We put a 10,000 shim underneath the pulley on this side over here and see if it levels it out. Way closer. Close enough to use. Kind of lightly touched on that one side and it's hitting hard on the other side. So I guess I could put that down half in there. That's probably about how far off it is. Alright, put that 11 thou shim stock on that one side. It's still showing the needs up. I keep forgetting about these dowels and these things. Right there, two dowels. Shim under there. I got some big shim stock here. More yet. Probably one more of those. There we go. Nice and flat. Good flat. If I need something to beat this in there with, I need a punch. 
punching block to use. Because on the inside it's too small, right? that with a hammer and it goes down. It'll beat in pretty close. Let me see it go inside the hole. This one fit inside the primary. Yep. This one actually recess in there deeper if we need to. This one will push on it straight down and get it in. We need a hammer block. So we need our punch right here. Um, that sticks through, which is not good. I need a washer to stick in here so I can beat on things. I want to cut this down. What kind of a washer I could put in there? Probably something I don't have laying around. Let me see if I can find me something to use. I needed that before. It could be a big fat washer, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. So we'll just see what size. Dig up in a washer over here. Precision washer is too close. We're going to go hunting on the other side of the bike over here. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I got my washer here. Find one that just fits perfect. Nice and tight on there. Just a few thou below the surface we want it to be. So now I can beat on this one flat, like that. I can pound that one in, lift this out, and push this one directly on that one. So we'll make sure it's all the way down. So one tool does everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this thing up with a torch. And I'm gonna put me a little bit of Loctite on the OD of that, which would be this Prima 6 sleeve retainer. I know that stuff works. And I had to lubricate it as it goes in there a little bit. So you can't get it too hot. It'll just kill everything. So. Not sure how hot we're going to make this thing, but hot enough, I guess. A nice coat on there. So if it gets too hot, we'll just burn this shit right off, so we have to be careful. Nice. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and heat that up a little bit. Too hot, but a little bit of heat.
The old spit test is a good test. And it sizzles real good. Make it hot. Okay. Hopefully it's not too hot. This will probably burn my finger. Yeah, the Loctite's smoking. It's hot. Hot on my fingertip, too. She's warm. Got a nice coat in there. It's gonna burn it, so it'll cool off slightly. Okay, go ahead and tap that a little bit, whatever it needs. We'll see how much it needs, because we don't know. Okay, the bad part is up. Put that toward the top. Not going in. Very easily. Dolphin fell out. So that is not going to beat in very easily like that. All right. Dolphin fell out though. All right. That didn't work very well. For the old hydraulic press. My welding gloves on, so I burned myself too badly. It's going to be hot. So, go ahead and put this over here. There's no room right now for a camera and me. All right, uh, see what you're going to see. Tighter than expected. There's about five tons of pressure there. Still not all the way down. This is really not the right size to be pushing on it the rest of the way, but that's all I got. It's gonna buckle. Tons, that's funny. And it was all the way down. It's definitely all the way down now. Eight tons of pressure, it ain't coming up. Yeah, it looks like it's all the way down. She's in there very, very tightly. I don't see any a chip bell slip, uh, underneath the inside there, so that means it didn't pull up any chip, which is good. It means it went in there nice and slick. So if you saw a burr underneath there, that'd be bad. There's no burr. 
appears to be all the way down in there. So I see the lip over here, but I forget that's low on that side. This side over here, see it's flush. That's why it looked like I had to go down further because the way the primary is. All right, now the bad part of heating up a primary is now you gotta let it cool off. So that takes a little bit of time to do that. Now we bore this out for a big sprocket in here. And I'm not sure what he got jammed in there, but something jammed through there. It's making more clearance. Something big. You see it got jammed in there. He dropped something in there. Or something got in there, a rock or something, don't know. It's heating inside of here too, but hadn't eaten through yet. So that's a good sign. Alright, I'm gonna cool this off a little bit. We'll be back. 